Mode 1 is Fader Mode. This gives you four pressure-sensitive faders, each generating CV based on the vertical position of your finger as well as the pressure applied. The outputs are assigned in pairs for each fader, with Out 1 providing the position CV for Fader 1, shown by a green LED, and Out 2 sending the pressure CV for Fader 1, shown with a red LED. Right now, I have the first pad controlling a VCA to set the volume of Shapeshifter, the second has position controlling filter cutoff and pressure controlling Q, and pads 3 and 4 are controlling Shapeshifter's ratio and internal FM with position, and Shape 1 and Shape 2 with pressure. In this mode, pressing the knobs toggles latching of the faders on and off. If the faders are latched, their position will hold at the last touched position. This is indicated by a blue LED at the top of the fader. You'll notice that pad 1's LED is showing red. This is because I've introduced a slight slew rate to prevent clicking. Turning an encoder clockwise while holding the shift button introduces a slew rate or friction to the response of the faders so you can have them gradually rise up or fall down. This works both with and without latch mode engaged. The shift button can also be used to freeze the position and pressure settings of all faders. In this mode, it may be useful to experiment with the different pressure response settings in the global configuration menu. In fact, the faders and outputs will still respond the same to position and pressure in this mode, so you can test the settings on your patches. The first knob chooses the parameter to edit. 1 is pressure response curve, 2 is pressure filter amount, and 3 is touch sensitivity. There are four pressure response curve settings, square, linear, exponential, and logarithmic, with number one, square, as the default. Number four, logarithmic, will produce more of an on-off effect. Useful if you want to toggle things or trigger gates when you touch a pad. Other settings sweep more gradually from lower to higher values. Parameter two, pressure filter amount, changes how sensitive TetraPad is to changes in pressure. There are 12 pressure filter settings, with the higher ones being more sensitive to changes in pressure. Number 7 is the default. Parameter 3, touch sensitivity, determines how light or hard you need to press the pads to hit the minimum and maximum pressure values. Higher numbers are more sensitive to the touch of your finger, but slightly less sensitive to its position, while lower numbers are less sensitive to touch, but more sensitive to position. Again, there are 12 settings, with 7 as the default. Fader mode can be useful for creating dynamic volume or filter movement in your melodies, setting the mix level of various elements of your patch, setting the modulation amount sent to oscillators, filters, or other targets, creating expressive gestural controls of your patches, or combinations of all of the above.